Hello, if you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. As we all know, there are different tones of nudes that complement different types or different tones of skin, skin tones, yeah. There are mauve nudes, pinky nudes, brownish nudes, orangey, peachy nudes, and there are also nudes that have like a hint of gray or a hint of purple in them. My favorite nude that I have really loved for a long time but is unfortunately discontinued is the NYX Round Lipstick in the shade T. I'll post up a picture here of what it looks like. For me personally, I really don't like to have to line my lips with lip liner in order for a nude lipstick to work for me. It's just so annoying because I feel like it's just one extra step, you know? I'm like, why can't I just have a nude lipstick that just glides on and I'm out the door, I don't have to do anything else to my lips. So today I'm going to be swatching a few lipsticks for you guys to see if one of the ones that I chose might compliment me, I don't know. And if you are of darker skin, you already know the struggle to find that perfect nude and it's like so annoying because you see it on a different skin tone, you're like, ooh, that's pretty, and you buy it. And then you're like, oh, let me see how this works on me. And then you end up looking like, can we just go back to when Viva Glam 2 came out by MAC and everybody went out and bought it and all the black girls were like. So I came across a cosmetic line called Mented Cosmetics. It is actually owned by two black women. Yes, it is a black owned makeup brand. I really want for there to be more black owned makeup brands just because if other companies are not willing to make shades and ranges that fit our skin tone, we might as well do it ourselves. And hey, it's putting money into the pockets of black owned businesses. So might as well, right? On their website, under the Our Story section, it talks about the founders, KJ Miller and Amanda E. Johnson, how they were having a conversation and I guess discovered that, hey, we don't have nude lipsticks that match our skin tones or that complement our skin tones. They have nine different shades of lipstick. They are called Brand Nude, Dope Taupe, Peach Please, Minted Number no. 5, Brown Bear, Nude Lala, Dark Night, Foxy Brown, and Pretty in Pink. Each of these lipsticks retail for $16.50, and they have actual lip swatches on different shades of skin, light, medium, and deep. On the website, it kind of gives you a breakdown of each color, as in what are the undertones. I bought four of their lipsticks. I ordered them on August 13th on a Sunday. It shipped out the next day which is Monday, August 14th, and I got them delivered to me on Thursday, August 17th, so pretty reasonable delivery time. It was shipped to me in just regular packaging, and the outside of the box had a sticker that said minted on it, so obviously I knew who it was from. Once you open the box, it's just some bubble wrap and the products, as well as a nice little thank you card. So the card reads, we started minted because we believe every woman should be able to find herself in the world of beauty. Thank you for joining us on this journey. So I'm really excited to try these out. I got four lipsticks. I got Minted Number no. 5, Peach Please, Dope Taupe, and Nude Lala. Once you open it, the inside of the box has a color that I guess maybe is representative of either the main color in the lipstick or the undertone of the lipstick, but I think it's super cute. So here's what it says about Peach Please. Our subtle peach shade gives the right amount of warmth to brighten your smile and your day. Okay, so obviously very, very peachy. It's coming off more orange on camera. Maybe, maybe not. When I wear it, I'm still not gonna line my lips. I'm just gonna be a rebel and just don't shoot me, okay? These are moisturizing lipsticks. It's your traditional standard formula for lipsticks. So don't expect them to be matte or anything like that. And I didn't really see a point of like testing out their staying power and stuff like that because with traditional lipsticks, it's gonna rub off with, you know, eating and drinking and talking and all of that. I think this is the first time I've done a lip swatch of multiple lipsticks on my channel. I have very hyperpigmented areas on my face and my lips are one of them. So that's why I actually go over my lips with foundation. I don't really tell you guys, but it's something I do. I do that to create an even base because if I allow my natural um, lip colors to kind of peek through, it does tend to ruin the um, appearance of the lipsticks. Looking for the perfect pink for darker lips? You've come to the right place. Nude Lala's Brown and Pink Blend provides a full coverage nude for women of many hues. Ooh. I don't need to roll it up that high. Like, what are you doing, fam? 
So this is Nude Lala. I like it. So the next one I'm gonna try is called Minted Number no. 5. On their website it says this shade bears our namesake because it represents everything we love about a nude lip. It is a fully pigmented, multi-dimensional blend of brown, purple, and pink. Trust us, you won't want to take this shade off. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. It's very um chill laid back vibes like not too pushy you know just kicking it body out down to the escape beat just kick it i can definitely see a girl with much deeper skin than me rocking the heck out of this color i absolutely love it it's not my type of favorite nude on me but I like it. The next one is called Dope Taupe. I saved this one for last on purpose because I wanted to see if it was anything like the NYX Round Lipstick in Tea that I absolutely love. The NYX lipstick is a nude, but it's like orangey peachy kind of, but it's like a tad bit too light sometimes depending on the lighting, you know. The name says it all. This ain't your grandmother's taupe. Our unique blend of brown and pink will quickly become your go-to nude. I'm not sure if I want to call it a perfect nude for me because it matches my skin tone pretty closely, but I wish it was just a little bit lighter. Then again, I haven't tried their other five shades, so I don't know what those would look like on me. So one thing I didn't tell you guys was it's very comfortable to wear. I mean, they're your traditional moisturizing lipsticks, so they're of course not going to feel drying or anything like that. The only issue I usually have with traditional lipsticks is feathering. And with these, since they are nude, you can kind of get away with feathering anyway. I'm comfortable with the pigmentation on these. They are very pigmented. There are some lipsticks out there like you, you know, one swipe and it's very sheer. These don't do that for me. So these are the four shades that I bought. I wish I could purchase all nine of them, but you know, money, responsibilities and all that. You don't have to be black to buy these lipsticks. Like. There are swatches done on the lips of much lighter women on their website. So if you like brown or nudish lipsticks, I would definitely suggest that you check them out. I do live in California, so I'm not sure what their international orders are like or if they even fulfill international orders. I feel like the price is reasonable given the formula, the wearability, the comfortability and all that and the pigmentation. Obviously, these are not your drugstore lipsticks. That'll be like, you know, five or six bucks. But then again, we are spending $20 and up on liquid lipsticks. I do not mind spending $16.50 for a lipstick that not only is owned by a black brand, but is actually very good and also meets the needs of people who are underrepresented in the beauty world. So that's just it, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you like and also comment down below and thumbs it up or down. I mean, whichever one I'm not, I'm not going to judge you. Just saying. And do not forget to keep up with me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I will see you guys in the next one, Lord willing. Stay blessed. Bye.